colors filled the night sky across parts of Colorado last night. The Aurora Borealis, known as the Northern Lights, it's a rare sight in Colorado. And seeing the Northern Lights really are a bucket list for event for a lot of people. Well, there is a chance you could see them again tonight. Denver 7's Christian Lopez spoke to Coloradans who had a chance to see the lights right by their homes. It's always been a dream of mine. A dream that just came true for Dakota McGee. It's been a bucket list type thing, and uh, to actually capture them and see them is uh, really amazing for me. Dakota got a rare glimpse of the Northern Lights Sunday. McGee captured these photos just a few miles away from his house in Iliff, Colorado. To get them this far south is pretty rare. It does happen occasionally. Just to see something that magnificent from... Uh, the sky has just always been wanted to see, and I got lucky last night. Rick Martinez was also one of the lucky ones. It's really pretty neat. Rick captured these amazing images from his home in Estes Park Sunday night. When you see it, you know, you're looking and you think there's something kind of moving in the sky. It's just cool. It's like, man, I wish it would happen regularly. It doesn't happen that often. The capture of the Northern Lights, Aurora Borealis, is very special, and uh, just to see the green and pink colors of them was really just amazing, and uh, they're as beautiful as everyone says. Both are still reflecting after getting to see something on so many people's bucket list. They're waiting to see if the lights will be visible again Monday night. I hope so. I hope tonight will work out. Um, it's the, the numbers are high enough. Reporting in Estes Park. Dream come true type of thing. I'm Christian Lopez, Denver 7. Wow, those are beautiful pictures. And Chief Meteorologist Mike Nelson's here. Oh, this is why we keep this guy around. So, <laughs> what exactly okay, are we... One of the <laughs> I knew there was a reason. <laughs> what are we looking at there when we see that? And also, do we have any shot of seeing them again tonight? Slight chance tonight. Not probably as good as last. I'll explain that in a second. But think about a neon light, okay? okay. The, the colors that you have in that light are caused by the electricity going through an exciting gases inside side of that light fixture. Now in our atmosphere, something happened somewhat similar. There was a solar flare, a giant eruption of energy on the sun. Those particles travel toward the earth. They're drawn toward the magnetic poles. And when that happens, we get the aurora forming mostly across areas of Canada. It was seen vividly in Iceland last night as well. It also occurs in the southern hemisphere, the aurora australis. And tonight there's a chance because we had two coronal mass ejections, which is this giant eruption on the sun that occurred over the weekend. It takes longer than the speed of light for those particles to get to the Earth, but those charged particles head toward the Earth. They're exciting gases high up into the atmosphere and we'll get that glow and the different gases create the different colors that you see. The greens are quite common. The oranges and the reds become a little more rare. So as far as conditions outside, it's been a warm day. I don't know that we're going to see enough clear sky tonight to see them, but it should be moderately comfortable out there. It's worth a try right around midnight tonight. Look to the north. Get away from city lights. All right. Fingers crossed. Worth Thank a you, try. Mike. Yeah. So the Aurora Borealis is created by geomagnetic storms caused by solar flare activity, and that can impact our energy infrastructure and energy grid. A professor at the University of Oklahoma is going to study how our renewable energy sources like wind and solar react to the Aurora Borealis. So according to the university's plan, he will first study ways to prevent a power grid failure, then he'll look at ways to detect geomagnetic storms or other grid disturbances and see the impacts these storms could have. And that study will happen over five years. And we love seeing your photos mm -hmm. of the Northern Lights. So please keep them coming. Thanks for uh, those of you who have already sent them in. You can also post them to our Discover Colorado Through Your Photos Facebook page.